Today we're going to show you how to install a RadTech anti-glare ClearCal for flat panel displays. ClearCal is a thin film glare reducing applique that reduces glare on glossy displays. A few things up front. Uh, what we want to do is make sure you're in a clean, comfortable environment. Um, you want your hands to be clean. Good idea to have some scotch tape and you'll see what that's for later. Um, you want to meticulously clean the screen. Um, we recommend OmniCleanse. You know, if you've got some other good cleaner, that's fine too. OmniCleanse doesn't leave any residue when it evaporates, so it's especially good. Um, also want a lint-free cleaning cloth. It's very important. We don't want any dust anywhere. And also make sure that your environment um, is not dusty. There's not dust floating in the air and you want to wash your hands very well prior to starting this. Okay, so we've already cleaned the screen and you want to you know take a good look at it um, before you begin. I'm in the sitting position with the screen down. I find that this works very well. Uh, of course you know you may find a more comfortable position but we want to visually inspect our screen. If you see any dust that is settled on the screen just take your lint-free cloth and just kind of brush it off. You can also kind of blow on the screen to get any dust off. That works well too. And before we begin, we're going to take our film and before we remove the backing, we want to just sort of test fit. Um, one, to make sure that we actually, you know, ordered the correct size film. And also to note the amount of margin around the actual viewable part of the screen. Um, you can see on the Apple MacBook displays there's a darker black uh, border which surrounds the screen. Um, that is not the viewable part. So the inner part of the square is a viewable part. To sort of lay your film over and you can see we've got about four millimeters of overlap on the film all the way around. Um, this makes it much easier to install. If it was just the size of the screen, it, you'd have to be very meticulous. If it was the full size of the bezel, that's also very difficult to do. So we purposely just gave this a little bit of margin, which works well. So before we begin, good idea to, to get the dust off of the film as well. Um, be careful, you don't want to crease the film, but you do just sort of want to remove any dust from it. Let's check our screen again just to make sure that it's dust free and I'll probably leave a, at least a piece of dust on here so I can show you what to do if you do in fact lay the film down over a piece of dust. Okay, so I'm going to start with the tab. This is to peel off the backing material. Just sort of gently peel this back and what we want to do is expose one of the long I'm sorry, one of the short edges without creasing the film. Just like this, just kind of fold the backer back and just expose three inches or so of the film. Again, noting before that we had about four millimeters of overlap, you can gently sort of line this up. Start at uh, one of the corners. You can lift the film up if it sticks. No problem there, it's very forgiving. I want to get this right from the get-go. Okay, you notice as the film lays down, it kind of uh, turns dark. That's how it should look. And what we're going to do is just kind of slowly roll the film down. And as we go, we'll peel some more backing. It kind of helps if you leave a little bit of curve in the film as you're laying it down. Okay, and we can see it's going down pretty good. But right here, I have a spot, and I can actually see that there's a piece of dust under there. So, no problem. That's what the tape's for. I'm gonna <clears throat> just cut off about a two inch piece of tape, fold it in half so the sticky side's out, and I'm gonna note where that dust is, peel my film back, and most of the time the dust is stuck to the film and you can just take your tape and pull the dust right off, which I've just done there. Okay. Again, I'm just going to kind of roll off and bingo, I see another piece of dust. Very easy. Take my tape, 
pop it right off of there. Grab a new piece of tape if you need to. Sometimes it wants to stick to everything. There we go. So again, we're rolling. If you get an air bubble, just back up. Go down slowly. Keeping that curve in there helps. You can also get your finger in here to help kind of walk it down, but most of the time you don't need to. If you just take your time, and let the film go down. It will lay on absolutely beautifully. Again, dust, you'll be able to see, you'll actually see the particle of dust in the center of the bubble. I've actually got a little one down here. Okay, so same thing. Kind of keep my eye on it so I can see right where it is. And it says dust usually sticks to the film, but sometimes it will be stuck to the screen itself. Come back, lay the film down. There's a bubble. I'm just going to back up, lay it down again. Use my finger to kind of walk it out of there. And if you wind up with little tiny bubbles, they'll actually disappear on their own within 24 hours. So you don't need to be extremely worried about some of the stuff. And you can always pull the film off at any time, clean it, reapply it. Just wash it in the sink under, uh, under a stream of water. Room. It's on. I'm going to take my soft cloth and just kind of going from the middle and kind of going out to the edges. On the edges, just sort of a little bit of pressure and kind of go down the edges, make sure they're fully stuck. And that's a, that's a good installation. I want to use your cleaner after you get it on. Give the film a good cleaning. Buff it dry. And that's it. No more glare.